I've had several people ask me today from insurance people to technicians and says, with today's vehicles, when it takes a hit, we used to know where all the damage goes. Where's it going now? And as long as I've been doing this on today's vehicles, it's like I couldn't tell you where it's going until I measure it because I just don't know where it's going to wind up, how much was absorbed, how much was transferred, and where it was being transferred into what areas of the vehicle unless you measure it to identify that. So that's why today it's so important to measure that vehicle. Big subject in our industry these days is blueprinting. So, you know, if you capture, if you know you have frame damage, you can start building your repair plan. You know, is it going to go straight to the frame machine? If it doesn't have damage, is it going to go right into just general body repair? Or if there's suspension damage, is there suspension components do I need to order? Does it need to get sent out to the alignment shop if I don't have alignment equipment? Or if, if, if I do have alignment equipment in the shop, you know, is it going to go there first? So a lot of it is repair planning. Part of that starts right in the very beginning with uh, writing the estimate of the vehicle, identifying all the damage, making sure that you write the best estimate possible so that you can reduce supplements, get all the parts ordered for the vehicle, get those in, and reduce that cycle time of that vehicle being repaired and get it pushed through the shop much faster. Uh, measuring the vehicle in the very beginning will help with that from the simple fact that you're going to be able to identify the entire vehicle as far as structural misalignment. 